All right, so we're gonna be installing uh, plugins with the MPC software. I'm gonna be using my Safari pedals. Uh, I went ahead and uninstalled these from my entire computer. And right now I'm just going to reinstall them and show you how I got them to work. Uh, I don't know what I did. I just know I rescanned and um, I went through a loop and somehow figured it out. So right now I'm gonna do the same thing. Uh, but before I do jump in any further, I do wanna say thank you to today's sponsor, which is DistroKid. Uh, if you guys have not uh, heard of DistroKid yet, uh, DistroKid is the fastest and the easiest way to publish your music, especially now that they have the mobile app that we can all download in our mobile devices. We can upload music directly from our phones. It's as easy as just uploading the track into your phone and then if you like how it sounds, you can start publishing that to multiple streaming platforms within a click of a few buttons. Not only could you publish directly from your phone, but you could also also create hyper follow links directly from the application and start sending that throughout all of your social media platforms. And another really cool thing is that you also get notified whenever you could transfer funds uh, from your account into your bank. So if you have not done so, checked out uh, DistroKid, go down to the link of my video. I have a 7% discount for anybody that wants to sign up. Go ahead and click on that link. And also do not forget to download the application on your mobile device if you have not done so. Back to the video. So right here, I have the Safari pedals. I have the Rabbit tape. This actually just came out. And then this is just all their plugins bundle. So if you guys are interested in these, go down to the link of this video. Let's go ahead and just double uh, tap this to install this, go through this whole process. Right here, I'm gonna leave everything selected. AU files, AAX files, and VST3s. I think that the MPC software is recognizing the AU files. I don't know, you know what, I might be completely wrong. Uh, this is not something that I'm too familiar with. I'm gonna leave all of them checked. Go to continue, make sure this is installed in my uh, computer. All right, once that's already installed, uh, then I am going to open up the MPC software. And when I open it up, uh, let's see where we go to our inserts. And it's already installed. My plugins are installed. I go to my inserts. I go to audio units right here, and I don't see Safari pedals. I see my plugin alliance, plugin boutique. Uh, I do not see Safari pedals, which I already installed them. So what I would do is I will go to preferences in your uh, MPC software, go to plugins. Right here is gonna tell me where I want to uh, search or a specific folder that I want this to scan. So I'm gonna go right here on the three little dots and I'm going to bank out of all this, go to applications, go to library, go into audio, plugins, and components. I'm gonna hit open and let's rescan and it's just going to do a rescan of all the plugins and see if it finds those uh, Safari pedal plugins right now. So let's give it a few minutes. This can take some time depending on how many plugins you might have. All right, once it finished, uh, it says it completed already and I'm going to hit okay. And now let's go to our inserts and see if our plugins pop up right here. Audio units, now we have Safari pedals that show up. Go ahead and hit the plus sign. And right here, we have all of our plugins. All right, so it worked. And uh, the cool thing is that now uh, I actually have uh, another, uh, this, this new plugin that just came out, and this is the Rabbit Tape. Go to continue. I'm gonna install this, and I, I should not have to rescan these plugins. Uh, here, here's the options for this. There's a VST3, so I guess the MPC does not recognize VST3, but then there's this AU. I think this is audio units. I'm not sure if that's what it is. And then AAX. I just leave all of them plugged in or all of them engaged. Hit continue. Uh, go ahead and install this. And I shouldn't have to do the uh, scanning anymore because we already set that folder, which I think this folder was in plugins. And I manually went into one of these folders right here and you just have to bank back all the way until we go into components. Make sure this is under components. And then we go right here to, uh, we're gonna add another plugin. We go to the audio units and go to uh, Safari pedals and we should see that tape, a rabbit tape. It's right here, hit select. 
and bam, we already have that uh, already ready to go. Now, it's super cool that I'm able to use some of these plugins. I actually have a lot of uh, third-party plugins that I really like. Uh, I have a few Plugin Alliance, Plugin Boutique, uh, Safari Pedals, some Sound Toys, and also my Universal Audio plugins. This is what, at least for me, makes the MPC hardware working with your software very powerful. Now, before we go any further, I do want to let you know that I have an MPC-1 course from start to finish, going through the basics of the MPC workflow. So if you just picked up your MPC-1 uh, and you're just lost on how to navigate, what are tracks, programs, sequences, and how they all combine together, working in song mode to put the entire song together and exporting, uh, check out this course I go through. I take my time. I'm not just rushing through things. It's a four hour plus long course with 40 plus videos. And we also offer payment plans. So if you want to go ahead and purchase it, start watching it as of today, you could go ahead and do so. So I'll leave the link down in the description. So yeah, uh, hopefully this works for you. And um, let me know down in the comments. I really want to know if uh, this method worked for you guys. Uh, so many questions on it doesn't work or I can't find my uh, Safari plugins. Let me know down in the comments after this video if it works for you. Uh, hopefully everything works out fine. So I'll catch y'all on our next video. Peace.